Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we will create an Easter Bunny. I already prepared the colors for you and we will start by creating the background. Therefore I just will create a rectangle, the size of the canvas, select this color as background color and then I can disable the background layer. Now I switch to the front layer where we will create our bunny. Therefore we, I will select first the ellipse tool and create an ellipse like this. I select white as fill color and then I select the direct selection tool and I will select the point below and will just move it a little bit up. So like this. So now I'm not so happy with it. I will make it a little bit smaller like this. So this is the base form of our head. Now we put the eyes on the head. Therefore I create again an ellipse. like this. Select black as fill color. Then press select the ellipse. Make on control and paste. Just make it a little bit smaller. Like this. Put it on top. Select white as fill color. A little bit more smaller. And then we have our first eye, just copy it. So now we have the first and second eye. Just check it, it's not totally in the middle. Move it a little bit like this. Next step is creating the nose. Therefore I just select the pen tool. Create the base shape. Like this. Now, if I press Alt, I can bend the lines. I do this for all of them to make it a little bit rounder. Then I select the direct selection tool and make the corners round. And that's it. Afterwards, I again select the pen tool, start here, go down, make this one without a fill but with a stroke, and then go to here, just again use press Alt. Bend this part a little bit, change the stroke such that you have a round cap and you have the one side of the snout. Then I right click on it, go to transform, reflect, copy. So I just have now two times the same thing. Just reflect it and I move it here so. Now already have we are done with this part. So to make it a little bit look a little bit nicer, I then create here copy here the main shape. Just copy, paste it, make it way smaller like this. Put it here and select the first color for it. It's a little bit small. Make it a little bit bigger like this. Put it here. Same on the other side. Just copy it by pressing Alt. You can just move it to the other side and have a copy of it. So next are the ears. For this one I select the ellipse tool again. Create an ellipse. 
like this. Rotate it a little bit like this. Then do com copy paste. Put it on top. Make it a little bit smaller. Like that. The outer part selected, change the fill color to white. Then copy the outer part by pressing Alt and just moving it to the side. Rotate it. Put it on top. Like this. So now we want to put it above the other one. We go just here to the layers panel, move it one up. So now we have already our first ear. I will just select it, make it a little bit bigger, then rotate it a little bit like this. Then select the same complete thing, press Ctrl G to group it. So now we will move this behind the head, like this, so we already have our first gear. Then just right click on it, transform, reflect, copy, okay, so far so good, we already have our head done. So now we go to the body. We therefore again select the ellipse tool, make like a round body down here, move it a little bit up. So now we again use the direct selection tool, select the center point. It's now you can use the error up key to just make this body a little bit up. So we have like this shape, so make it a little bit bigger. Like this, you can go down here, also make a little, put a little bit up. And we also can select here, use the direct selection tool, go on the handle, make them on both sides a little bit wider, so we have a little bit more round body. So this is our base shape for our body. Next, we will create the feet. Therefore, we again take the ellipse tool, create an ellipse like this, rotate it a little bit, put it here, maybe even a little bit bigger. You can press Shift and Alt in order to just increase it on to the correct size. Then copy, Control C, and then Control F, paste it on the exact same position, make it a little bit smaller, and then select this color here. Oh, it's still a little bit big, make it a little bit smaller, put it down here, then press Alt, move it up, make it way smaller, Oops. so put it here, rotate it a little bit like this, take the second one, Rotate it a little bit like that. Again, always pressing Alt. Just move it, rotate it a little bit. So, and this is our feet. It's a little bit bored, so we can make this again a little bit smaller and this a little bit tighter. Like this. Let's move it so 
such as it looks good, like this. Then we select all these parts, press Ctrl G to group it, and again to transform, reflect, copy. So we now have our feet here. Next step is to create the arms. So therefore we again use the lips tool, create a like a kind of long ellipse like this. Select as base color white. Then rotate it. Put it here. Maybe a little bit more like this, like this. Let's check how it looks like. Put here, rotate it a little bit. So that it starts here from the neck. Then Select this one, press Alt, just create a copy, rotate it, so it should go here, it should make a little bit smaller this part, so it does not fit perfectly, so I will play around with it again, so like this and that, I think this looks good. Just select both, go to Pathfinder, Unite and you have your hands basically you they are very difficult to see this is why we will add a shadow to it therefore just again control c control f to just copy paste it move it a little bit like this select as color black and now we will go here to appearance opacity and go to 20% and then we go to not to normal but darken because we want to have a shadow a little bit darkened so now this is on top we just go to the layer menu select the lower one put it on top so now we have our arms with a little bit of shadow there so we select both press ctrl G to group it then go to transform, reflect, copy. So now we have our, both our arms here. So to make it a little bit more interesting, we will add a nice Easter egg to it. So to do this, we will create again an ellipse. Let's say like this. Put it here, select different color, this one, then go to the direct selection tool, select the top point, just use your arrow keys to go a little bit up, so this looks like an egg, it's a little bit small, I want to have it a little bit bigger, so that it looks like it's in the hands of the rabbit so we can do it like this maybe make a little bit to the left even a little bit bigger yeah this is good I think so now we will make the egg look a little bit more interesting therefore we will add some stars to it so go to the star tool just create one if you don't have this five um, part star you can press by arrow up arrow down can change the number of points here so I have five just create it like this then go to the direct selection tool make it a little bit with a little bit round corners, it looks a little bit nicer, like this. Select for this one our darker color here. Make it smaller, this is still too big, like this. And then just by pressing Alt, 
you can just copy this part several times. Just let it also a little bit overlap. Put it on the points so that it looks good. Like this, this. Do it how you like it. So I think this looks good. Then we select the ones which are over the edge. And select the egg. And then we go here to Shape Builder tool. And pressing Alt, change it to add to, from Add to Remove. So we can now go to the edges and just remove all parts which overlap. So as the next step, I will add shadows and highlights. Therefore, I will select the egg, press Control C, Control F in the same position, and do exactly the same again. Control C, Control F. So I now have two copies. I will move the upper one a little bit to the top. So like this and maybe like this so now I select this two versions go to pathfinder and press minus front so now I have this part here which I then will make black put opacity to 20% and select darken like this so now I will move up this one about the group of the stars so that also they are darkened a little bit like here so now I will add an highlight to it therefore I go to the ellipse tool just create something like this here move it a little bit around like that check it, select white as the color, select opacity 20% and select lighten. It's a little bit too much, I will change let's say to 30%, so like this. Okay, now the base form of our Easter Bunny is done. We can now add something like borders and so on, but since this video is already almost 20 minutes long, I will stop here. I hope you liked the video and if you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.